What's going on everyone? It's Corbin with World of HVAC and today I'm going to show you how to bypass a thermostat. There are multiple reasons to bypass a thermostat, whether it's broken and you're waiting on a new one and you just need to get the AC to turn on or the heat to turn on, you're locked out of it for whatever reason, then this is the video for you. Now before you start messing with your thermostat and pulling all the wires apart, turn the power off to your indoor unit. That's either going to be your furnace, your air handler, whether it's in a closet or the attic or in a basement, or turn the power off at the circuit breaker if you know exactly which one. If you cross a wire, mainly the R and the C, it's going to either blow a fuse or the transformer and you're going to have a really bad day. Now this thermostat I'm using for the demonstration is a basic thermostat. It's got cool heat, fan auto on, off, all the good stuff. What we're really looking for is behind it. Basically what you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking for your R, the red one, the G, the green one, the yellow, Y, or W, white. This is your power from the indoor unit, G is for your fan, Y is for your cool, and W is for your heat. In order to make all these work, you're going to take the R, G, and Y for cool, the R, G, and W for heat, and put those together to make sure you have your indoor fan running for your cool so you don't freeze up the coil, or your indoor fan running for heat so you don't burn anything up. Just take a little screwdriver, undo all these screws, and this is what you're left with. Your R, G, Y, and W. In this demonstration, I only want to run it in cool. So I'm going to take my R, my G, and my Y, and I'm going to put them together, and I'm not going to worry about making it too perfect, only because it's very temporary. Do not, fuck, do not leave this on forever. But there you go. That right there will turn on your cool system until you physically take the wire net off or you turn the power off to the indoor unit. Use this method to get you back up and running at a pinch, but please do not rely on it to be your only source of heat or cool or to cycle your system properly. That's what an actual thermostat is for. Well, I hope this video really helped somebody out. If you could, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It's free to you. It means the world to me, and I'll see you all next time.